Hi, I'm John from Just Whiskey. If you enjoy today's show, please click like and subscribe. And remember, no matter how good it is, how much it costs, it's just whiskey, folks. Today, I'm excited to be talking about the brand new Ard Bag committee release that just came out in February of 2021, although it was bottled in May of 2020. Comes in at 51.8% ABV and it is non-chill filtered. No mention of color, but it is widely assumed that they probably do not color. What a cool label. This Ard Bag Committee Release 2021 is paying tribute to the retirement of Ard Bag's distillery manager, Mickey Heads. Mickey Heads worked for Ard Bag for 13 years from 2007 to 2020. And they have a little gold embossed label on here that says end of an era. And what they did here is they characterized his, his head into a pirate. And he's holding a dog, which I would, I'm just speculating that maybe that's his dog. And maybe he brought it to work. I don't know. And he's also holding a bottle of hard bag. So it's Mickey Heads as a pirate. And on the back of the label, they had the description and it says Pirate of the Hebridian. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that correctly. And the Hebridian is a group of islands in the <clears throat> on the northwest coast of Scotland. And of course, Ardbag is from the island Isla, which is south of that on the west coast of Scotland. Let's talk about the thrill of the chase for a minute. Every year I look forward to the committee release and hope it's as good as their later limited release. Sometimes they are and sometimes they're not. I kind of look at it as when an artist like Paul McCartney releases a new album, which he just released, recently did, called Paul McCartney 3. I have so much anticipation that I'm, I'm, you know, I'm hoping it's going to be really good and, and I hope it meets or exceeds my expectations. And so that my, was my frame of mind buying and, and procuring this, this bottle here. Um, let's talk about, well, let's talk about the color a little bit. We're going to compare it to the Art Bag standard 10 year old. The color is very similar. If I had to say, I would say the committee release might be a hint darker. The committee release also is matured in X rye casks. And for the committee release, in my opinion, they cherry pick the best casks for the committee release. And then the limited release, which comes out a few months later, I think maybe in May or June, at 46%, those might not be as good. 
as the committee release casts. But I don't know that for sure. So, um, they have a bunch of nosing and tasting notes on the back here. And it's, it's written up in, in pirate terms, which is kind of, which is kind of cool. Um, Ardbag is certainly great at marketing and they, they did, they knocked it out of the park with this, as far as I'm concerned. So let's talk about the nose. The nose, my first nose on it, believe it or not, reminded me of wallpaper paste. Now I haven't smelled wallpaper paste in 30 years. So I looked in the back of the label and they do make a, a note that there's hints of sourdough biscuits. So maybe that's what I was smelling. Also on the nose, you're going to get vanilla and caramel, and you're going to get that medicinal band-aid, but not overwhelming. You're going to get a hint of lemon. On the first sip, I got that sharp rye bite. Then on the second sip, I got the sweet, the sweetness, the sweet light cigar ashtray note. On the third sip, the fruitiness really came out. And on the fourth sip, I focused on the finish, which I think is a long finish. And I, it was left with a, a lingering, sweet mintiness, which I, which I really, which I really enjoyed. In my opinion, I think this is a testament to what an old school whiskey was and and could be. What else can I say about it? There is there was something else I want to say about it. I'm really enjoying it and looking forward to seeing how it evolves as we get lower and lower into this bottle and when the limited release comes out of this later on, maybe in May or June, then I will definitely be doing a head-to-head -head comparison with this. Now let's talk about the Ardbag 10, which most of us are very familiar with. On the nose with the Ardbag 10, immediately you get that burnt rubber, grapefruit in your nose. On the on the taste, you get that cigar juice, ashtray, leather. Now let's talk about the mouthfeel. In my opinion, the Ardbag 10 has a, a much different mouthfeel more smooth, subtle, well-rounded. In my opinion, the finish isn't quite as long as, as the Ardbag 2021 committee release. So let's talk about price. The Ardbag committee release 2021 you, you get it for around $185, $190, if you can find it. Whereas the Yardbag 10 is about $55 to $60. So you could buy three bottles of the Yardbag 10 for the price 
of the committee released. Now, it doesn't really matter what I say, <laughs> because if you're an odd bag fan, you're probably going to go out and chase this for the experience of it. So, it's really relative. Yes, you can buy three bottles of the odd bag 10 and only one bottle of this. So is it worth the $185 to $190 to experience it? In my opinion, yes, yes, yes. It's, it's really good. I'm glad I bought it. And I'm, I'm really looking forward to enjoying the rest of this bottle. So... I think we've covered just about everything here. If you enjoyed today's show, please click like and subscribe. And remember, no matter how good it is, how much you pay for it, it's just whiskey. So hats off to you all and take care.